All right, guys. Uh, the watch this video here for Thursday, December tenth. Um, starting off with the spy, we had kind of a, I guess you'd call it a bearish engulfing candle. Um, you go to five minute candles and kind of show you. It was definitely a, pretty much an all day bleed lower, right? Um, not really a pretty day. I'm going to share with you a couple things from today that I think are worth talking about. Um, uh, shoot, that is the wrong one. Let me pause this. All right, there it is. Um, again, there's no lesson here. <laughs> oh, well, there is a lesson. It's, it, it's called hold some if you're not underwater, right? Um, I had to share this, though. I already made a video on Twitter, but I'm, I'm including this video, too. If nothing else, just to piss Wayne off because he's tired of hearing me whine about it. So, ha-ha, <laughs> he's going to be sitting on his couch tonight looking at his iPad and listening to me hit him one more time with it. Um, Okay, so I put in a bid at 1569 when it was halted while this red this red candle right here halted and I thought, you know what? I'm going to bid near the 20 the 520, the 5 minute candle 20 period moving average. Um, you know, it, it had a crazy move in pre-market and it had fallen from like I don't know 25 bucks. And so I just threw out an arbitrary bid with a limit of 1569. Now I only did 100 shares cuz this felt like a total gamble, right? Um and I got filled when it came out of the halt at 1540. That was literally, you can't see it. That was the low of this candle, 1540. I got filled there. 100 shares. Um, and I think I sold like 50, maybe, at uh, 1694. Um, you know, which I, hey, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm just playing around. Sold another 25 at 18, another 25 at 19, which came to a grand total of 200 and something dollars. I don't even know. I'd already had my daily goal in the bank, so I, I was kind of playing around, right? 100 shares didn't feel risky. This ended up, by the way, I took this snapshot. This ended up going to $160. So even if I'd have just kept 50, you could do the math. I don't know, uh, over $10,000 maybe. Instead, I settled for, anyway, probably the, the best fill I've ever gotten and the worst trade I've ever done all in one. Um, and a little bit of redemption. I did take a one of those shape plays in Tesla. Uh, got filled at 59, 591.19, which is really right about there. And then sold at five ninety nine. So I made over what over eight dollars a share there, um, really in about five minutes on Tesla. So that was kind of a nice little um, icing on the cake to a great day that I had. But man, that one trade is so embarrassing. Um, you know that only happens every couple of years. It's like dry ships. All traders know remember dry ships, and uh, then GS uh, GLSI will be another one that probably we all remember. Just nobody could believe it. So anyway, um, what are we watching for tomorrow? NNOX goes on bounce watch. Uh, you can't see it on this chart, but it's getting pretty close to 50 days around 41.20. I wouldn't mind seeing an early sell-off down to that area. Then I would look for an intraday reversal. Remember, I'm a day trader, so this is just um, a lot of people. I, I, I got a message the other day said, "Hey, I, this I don't even remember the symbol now, right? Um, this symbol was on your list. So what am what exactly am I looking to do with it?" Um, and a lot of people don't realize a watch list is exactly that. It's a watch list. Um, I may have 10 stocks on my watch list and may get one trade out of them the next day, right? I'm looking for things that can give me an A plus setup, A plus intraday setup. Um, and so if I don't get it on all 10 stocks, I won't take any trades. I'll find something else to trade, right? We've got scanners running all day too. So um, just keep that in mind. This is a watch list and we will base trades on what we teach in our trading course. If any of those A plus setups occur on an intraday basis. I hope that makes sense. So there's NNOX, interesting bounce play. DOCU, also kind of interesting. Um, it's back down to some support. Um, the 20 day and the 50 day, you can't see them on this chart, but they're both right about here. It gapped up on earnings and now it's come back in for a few days. So, um, you know, it was on bounce watch today and we got no bounce, weak, weak market. So it just goes back on bounce watch tomorrow. No A plus setup in it. So I took no trades in it. DADA, -D -A, um, I had this on bounce watch just simply because it was over 60 bucks uh, a little over a week ago and it's down like five days in a row down to uh, uh, under 40 there. So there's no significant, uh, well actually the 50 day is not that far below this one also. So anyway, that is the thinking here. Just another, uh, no trades in it today, so I put it on watch for tomorrow. Um, if you're wondering, my favorite thing on a bounce play, my favorite thing to occur would be a narrow range for most of the day and then an afternoon high of day break out of that range. That's my favorite thing to occur on these bounce play setup. Um, there are other uh, possibilities that I might trade as well. So anyway, uh, THCB, 
couple nice calls in this one today. Uh, Kevin P called this one. Uh, Wayne called it early. Um, I took, I think I got involved in both those trades. This one was pretty good to us. Anyway, uh, it's going to go right back on the watch list for tomorrow um, with that strong close. Now, of course, it's extended from the moving averages, but that uh, does not stop me from watching it. Uh, GLSI, by the way, that you know, this thing there, I said 160, it went to 158.07. Sorry to misspeak. Um, before closing at 57.10, that is crazy, right? Um, by the way, in after hours, this was back up around 80 bucks. I think, uh, let's see, after hours is closed now. It looks like it went out around 75 bucks. So it's still worth watching tomorrow, but it scares the crap out of me. I'm not going to lie after, after that kind of crazy action. SLS. Um, big breakout actually halted right before the close uh, the volatility halt. Um, definitely going to watch it tomorrow. Right now, it looks like it went out in after hours at seven bucks. So certainly worth watching. Go, go. I'm looking for a third day play. Geo, geo. Big uh, kind of a big chart break yesterday. Quiet inside day to day on lower volume. Sometimes you get a third day play where the breakout continues. FUV. Um, pretty rangy, right? Um, but still... It's holding up fairly well. Looking for a third day play on that one as well. VERU, nice breakout today. Um, and after hours, this went out at 449. So we're seeing a lot of that. We're seeing a lot of the big moves in after hours. Something to think about. Um, lastly, UTSI, potential gapper tomorrow. Closed at 133. It's trading at 253 when after hours went out. So there you go. That's plenty to watch. My God, my gap play monitor has been full every morning by the time the, the morning, uh, the opening bell rings. Um, and it'll probably be the same way tomorrow. Um, let's just keep that team. We're going in chat. We'll see everybody in there in the morning.